What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the best entertainment channel on YouTube, The Supreme. Today, we'll be talking about some of the most mysterious findings out in open water with today's episode, Unexplained Discoveries Found in the Middle of the Ocean. Want to become part of the Supreme team? Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling. Garbage Island. So we'll start today's countdown off with a quick lesson for all of us around the world, where when you think back, one of the first lessons that any of us are taught is not to litter. Now, of course, I know that most of us aren't perfect in this regard. However, when you consider that there are over 7 billion people on the planet, well, all that trash simply has to go somewhere. So there are five great garbage patches around the world. And for those who don't know, a garbage patch is a widespread area in the ocean where all sorts of different types of trash are all accumulated at the base of different ocean currents. Basically, the garbage is all sucked into one large area. According to the latest estimates, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex, which spans waters from the west coast of North America all the way to Japan, is estimated at over 600,000 square miles. And if you think that sounds ridiculous and disgusting, then, well, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I think it goes without saying that we all could probably do a bit better when it comes to disposing of our garbage. Maybe seeing something like this up close and personal will be the wake-up call that a lot of us need. With all the crazy things that we'll see on today's episode, we've got to pause for a quick moment so I can show you an image that was recently sent in to the Supreme family. Check this out. What in the world do you think is going on here? This image shows what appears to be some kind of pyramid construction sticking up from beneath the water. Where in the world could this be? With all our research, we couldn't find on a map exactly where this took place. So if any of you out there have any idea, then please let us know your best guess down there in the comments. Warty Frogfish. So before we just dive into the next clip, up next we've got to do one of our most popular features of the show. And that's when we get to send a special shout out to one of our most recent viewers and commenters. With that being said, today's special recognition goes to none other than Tanya Rollerson, who just the other day left a comment saying, keep those epic videos coming. My world brightens up thanks to hashtag Supreme Family. Still waiting for my shout out. See you soon. Hey, Tanya, I think I speak for everyone when I say, first of all, great use of all those emojis. <laughs> and also, thanks so much for letting us know how much you love the channel. We really appreciate you. Also, don't forget that tomorrow we'll have a brand new video lined up just for you. So up next, we're going to talk about a creature that not many people know is out there. It's called the warty frogfish, and this almost six inch creature also goes by the name of clown frogfish. And when you look at it, that's for obvious reasons. The masters of camouflage are very aggressive for their size and are known to attack anything that crosses its path. And when I mentioned earlier that these fish are masters of camo, I mean that to the highest degree, as they even have the ability to change their camo to match their surroundings. Pretty cool, huh? I wonder what else we have lined up on today's list. I suggest you all stick around and find out. The Deceased Mermaid. So up next, we have a story about a guy named Paul Jones, who was walking along the great Yarmouth beach one day a few years ago. What he discovered that day was startling and could be some of the most direct proof that we have anywhere that proves the existence of mermaids. Yeah, those mermaids that you remember hearing about in your childhood are real, according to some, and this video may in fact prove it. Check it out. What in the heck could that be? You see this half-decayed animal that appears to have the skull and torso of a human, but fins just like a mermaid. Strange, right? If you're not a believer in that supposedly mythical creature, then how do you explain what you're seeing here? Do you want to get a shout out in one of our daily videos? Well, don't forget to drop a comment down below with the hashtag Supreme Family. Tomorrow could be your day. Now, let's get back to the topic. The cow that swallowed a shark. In 2016, footage of a very unlikely encounter surfaced, a tiger shark, five meters long, devoured a floating cow in the middle of the Indian Ocean. It is believed that the cow had fallen off of a makeshift boat and was already dead when the shark discovered it. Wild thrashing and blood consumed the scene as onlookers sailing off the French island of Moyeti 
filmed the incredible incident. Now, this is something The Supreme can certainly guarantee you don't see every day. Bamini Road. Up next, we'll veer from the strange and weird creatures for a bit and turn towards a location that's been buried underwater for thousands of years. It's called the Bimini Road, and it can be found off the coast of North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. It was just discovered in 1968, but according to most experts, this area has been buried deep in the sea for about 11,000 years. This road specifically is a set of stones, 18 to be exact, on the floor of the ocean that appear to be man-made and are evenly spaced in a road-like manner. Upon its discovery, droves of people speculated that they were in fact made by men and somehow were connected to Atlantis, which we've talked about here before on the channel. Anyway, after some testing, it was determined that these stones that appear to have been assembled together are in fact actually just naturally made limestone. They found no tool markings on the stones, so the general consensus is that this, unfortunately, is just a big old coincidence. The Silver Crack Up next on today's list is not an animal, but we definitely will get back to those in a little bit. The Silver Crack is an underwater area that represents where the North American and Eurasian continental plates are supposed to meet. The only problem is that these two plates are continuously separating at a rate close to two centimeters a year. One cool thing about the Silver Crack, or rift, is that the water here is crystal clear. The reason for that is the water is super cold and there's underground lava that helps clear it up. Also, the Icelandic glaciers attribute to this super see-through water as well. So while this area is popular for its ability to present divers with the unique chance to lay hands on two separate continents at one time, the Silver Crack is indeed one mysterious underwater place, Heraklion. So up next we have something that was discovered underwater that is pretty remarkable, but it isn't just a singular item that was found. After more than 1200 years of being trapped down there, the lost Egyptian city of Heraklion, which is also known as Thonis, was stumbled upon by a French archaeologist named Franck Gogio. The story goes that he saw a face emerge from the shadows of the water, and upon his investigation, he revealed the remnants of the ancient city that was submerged over 150 feet underwater off the coast of Alexandria. At the time, the age-old city was believed to only be a legend, but according to some researchers, this city was likely founded near the 8th century BC. How amazing is that an entire city could be washed away like that? There were over 60 ships, treasures with gold coins, statues that stood over 16 feet in the air, and a humongous temple dedicated to the god Amun Gareb. Pretty special find when you think about it, but I wonder what else we have coming up on today's countdown. The Underwater Sea Monster So, as we've been looking at a lot of strange things that have happened underwater recently, it's now time to go ahead and check out something very creepy that recently occurred. Check this out. Captured on camera in 2007 was this long, strange-looking aquatic animal. Upon first glance, what do you think this could be? It clearly looks like nothing normal that we've ever seen before. An oil company was checking their underwater security cameras when they saw this highly unusual animal that ended up being what animal experts have labeled a very rare form of a squid. What specific squid is this, you ask? Well, thank you so much for asking, first of all. This squid is so rare that I actually wasn't able to find a name for it. Crazy, right? Supposedly, it's only been documented by science just a handful of times and could range between 5 and 25 feet. It's crazy. Still, you can't deny that this video is extremely creepy to watch. New whale species? We'll keep it moving right along. What some experts are saying may be an unknown whale species, this young biology teacher pictured here was absolutely thrilled when he stumbled upon this large aquatic animal that had washed up onto the shore in St. George, Alaska. They originally thought this to be the corpse of a Baird's beaked whale, but based on what he knew of the species, something just wasn't adding up. It isn't often that humans are able to make observations of a previously undocumented animal whether it belonged to the land or to the sea. It would be pretty special to be a part of breaking this type of news. So far, no determination was made as to what it truly was, so right now we're going to reach out to you guys. Get a good look at this beached whale, and down there in the comments, leave us some of the best names you can think of. Have fun with it and be creative. Deep Sea Creature 
Okay, we'll end things off by diving into one of the deepest depths on Earth in one of our beautiful oceans. Now, there's no word on the exact location that this video was shot, but check it out. As a submarine cruises through the deep waters, it crosses this little guy, and researchers and scientists alike are stumped by what it could be. As you can see, the way that it's swimming around is very peculiar. It almost looks like it's putting on a show for the submarine. Now, some have speculated that this animal isn't even of this world, claiming that it could be some kind of extraterrestrial being. But what do you think? And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.